I think people uh, are losing faith that they're going to be able to pass on a better life to their children and their grandchildren. That's the essence of the American dream, that each and every one of us work hard and sacrifice so that the future generations can do better than we did. And people are unsure about whether uh, that American dream is slipping away. So we know that this election could end up being the most important in our lifetimes. We know the choices that we make in November are not just going to shape our futures, but also our children's futures. And we know that one of the central challenges that we're going to have to deal with uh, in the years to come is our addiction to foreign oil. Now, without a doubt, this addiction is one of the most urgent that we've ever paced. Uh, we've got paychecks that are being wiped out as a consequence of rising gas prices, businesses that are seeing sales drop. We've got jobs being lost. We've got instability and terror uh, in the Middle East that is brought on in part because we fund both sides of the fight. We are seeing rising oceans and record drought and spreading famine that could engulf our planet. And so the question is, how did we get to this point? Because if we're going to solve the problem, we've got to understand how we got here. Now, believe it or not, this is one of those times where I am going to agree with John McCain. Because he said a few weeks ago, and I quote, our dangerous dependence on foreign oil has been 30 years in the making and was caused by the failure of politicians in Washington to think long term about the future of this country. He's absolutely right. What he fails to mention is he was there for 26 of those 30 years.